demonstrated Dr. Bornstein a weapon and a gun and Dr. Bornstein was oh cool this and that like this not really in a sense cool but was kind of glad that he actually have demonstrated him I think Dr. Bornstein also wanted to make an impression on me about this kind of stuff basically there is no way you can do anything to me he said even like this further uh, Don Ecolens became a trainer a trainer for the use of directed energy weapons. He started to train other people here in this region and in Serbia how to use direct energy weapons. Further did Serbian President now Aleksandar Vucic told him and his family that if anything happens here, the only thing they got to do is get the ticket, get them, to actually he will get them no matter what to the Serbia. That's why they're going to get a different identities, different ideas, houses everything is going to be taken care of and there were people here in slovenia that have suggested me they're not going to help me because they cannot help me because under mk ultra of course brainwash because this is what's happening all they got to do is they got to go this and there is nothing we can do and so on and so forth of course this is what i call cluster fuck excuse me f word uh these things are going to happen no matter what uh and alexander vucic is a terrorist is a genocidal maniac who's going to be charged with the crimes against humanity. Uh, Serbia might be a country that nobody can do anything to. That's at least what the Putin claims. And I'm going to say immediately here, terrorist Putin. But when you grab the Russia by the throat, believe me, Serbia is going to pay. They gave Milosevic away. They gave Karadzic away. They give all their serial murderers, assassins away. They're going to give Vucic to. They're going to give these neighbors to. That's all I had to say. Uh, it was not this individual. When I say this individual, there is a Serbian that was already employed in 2005, 2006, along with the Slovenian. You have seen them. No, you have not seen them. But there were three security officers that would rush out of the guard check and suggest me that I have no right to film factory from the pedestrian walk, from the sidewalk. Um, on what, under MK Ultra, they also brainwashed me on how then a Serbian security officer is going to come. And uh, as I will return back to the court, they have all this procalculated on, on MK Ultra. Because if you're not going to come and film the area, uh, we can actually post the signs that there is no filming. So they have all this like based on extortion. You're going to come back. That's when you're going to see me. That's when I'm going to come. And I will be exactly in uh, on the opposite way of what this Slovenian security officers have claimed that you don't have the right to film. Da, da, da. I will be nice with you and I will allow you to da, 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 uh, that you can video record and stuff like this of course that this is okay and so on and so forth so it was like in a way in a way it was presented to me under MK Ultra. this is how twisted this shit is this is how people get mentally broken psychologically how they break them how people uh, lose believe in themselves believe in their country believe in their own people suggested that Serbs are always going to be a nice ones Slovenians are going to be the ones that are bad ones. That's always how these traitors here in Slovenia, they try to apologize, betrayal against their own people. For the sake of great Serbia, for the sake of the Yugoslavia, this is always, this is the way, this is the case, this is a twisted mind of these people. Uh, further have suggested, however, that they will be using, they would be using directed energy attack weapons on me. Uh, it will be Serbs, Slovenian Serbs, Slovenian, you understand? So it will be like between me and between them, again, I against the Serbia and so on and stuff like that. Totally bizarre stuff like that. But that's how they basically engage mind uh, in, in this kind of game. So I think that the way I have explained this stuff, the MK Ultra stuff, the only thing you can do is this thing here. Uh, Netanyahu suggested for the outcome of this MK Ultra stuff that one day eventually when I'm not gonna even be here anymore most likely in the Israel 
he would tell people, yes, this was the real case. They would tell people this was the real case. Uh, what actually would have this as a result even more pessimistic view, like bas basically would cause psychological breakdown uh, to the people who would crave for independence. And so because of the stuff that I have gone through, because of the stuff they have done to me, nobody would actually, as a result of this torture, even dare to think about that would go uh, against the system anymore. This is, they have all kinds of scenarios. This is the stuff they have talked about. Hey, is this twisted? Welcome to my world then. A little bit more about this. Uh, Barnacle hands, uh, they actually experimented with uh, exactly what happened with Dr. Bornstein. Dr. Bornstein isn't guilty anything about this. He has basically really nothing more to do than he got himself here and he was very concerned about me, very concerned about me and uh, he started to, because I didn't want to, to me this whole thing was so stupid and that MK Ultra, this shit that I'm going to actually have to go through seemed to me more than anything to real, surreal is what I'm trying to say. It seemed to me totally stupid. Uh, something like bullshit go on whatever you want to say and let me go back to the US and fuck off you're never gonna get me to this place anyways this is what this is what my stand was so dr. Bornstein was very concerned about this shit and he was pissed off he started sometimes to even insult me dummy this and that and so on to get the attention not because he would want to hurt me or something he said and then he would repeat me do you understand that your survival actually uh, depends on what you're getting what I'm trying to tell you right now and I would be just really dismissive you know he met me actually in Miami too and so on I didn't want to know him I didn't want to know I didn't want to know any of these people to me this was such a cluster excuse me F word again that I just I just didn't want to have anything to do with it simple as this Um, all I wanted to say is, all I wanted to say to finish this thing is that uh, they did play with this weapon and Donna Colin suggested that he can actually hit me on a kilometer away, 500 meters, you're never gonna get me. That's all I wanted to say in respect to this issue. This is July 25th, 2018. I'm on my way to the library. I'm about to publish this movie. It's quite soon, I think. There's some stuff I gotta do, but here's the deal. Um, inside this forest here that you see here, Donna Collins claimed on how he's gonna kill me inside of this forest. Uh, yesterday he demonstrated well that I can actually not really hide anywhere from these microwave weapons. He is using, this is important to notice, he is using other than microwave weapon. He is using, I believe, a gamma ray gun. Those are really, really expensive toys to play with. He is using a gamma ray, I'm pretty sure, an x-ray and different tools he is using. I know this for fact, because this is what, these are the weapons, like I said, this individual trained other people, and his son, Matthias Kolens, actually knows more than he does probably by now, because he learned everything from the daddy, from the father, and he is young, and so I'm pretty damn sure that he learned uh, even more about this stuff. Uh, both of these people are at home 24-7. They have like, in apprentices, like their own companies. And I, it, they do the job, they do the stuff, but on the side they also do shit like this. This is how they do it. This is yet another proof. No, it's not that I was attacked right now by any kind of weapon. It's just the effect that... Uh, when you come from the sun, uh, from home, uh, the, had a very good night tonight, even that I was attacked in early morning hours, but I had a beautiful night, I got six hours of sleep, real sleep, because I changed the location to location where I never was before. So... I got six hours only. Harassment started 
like in the last hour or something then I got up and I left but at this four hours I was without the harassment and within five hours you have no idea how much body can actually that is exposed 24 7 to this type of harassment uh, attacks how much body can actually recuperate that's why I had a very very beautiful evening I have actually drink a coca-cola this morning was supposed to boost the high pressure but I can tell you my high pressure my blood pressure uh, is actually very very low today compared to yesterday and the day before yesterday and it was just because I break free from directed energy and I believe gamma gun for just five hours within five hours you have no idea how much you can gain all through this morning uh, the room upstairs my room my room is radiating my room is radiated and like I said this is from my father but I do have a clothing in there and I, I do it exactly as I was suggested on NK Ultra you get in you take your clothing and you are out immediately within I think like five minutes or so you get already so much deadly dosage that is I don't know what they talked about to me how dangerous this shit is and so yeah when I when I went through that village when I went inside of the forest uh, it's the effect I was not attacked by the weapons but that's what Donico Lenz believed that I'm gonna go and say oh how you know the shit that he talked to me under MK Ultra gesture me that he's gonna kill me here in this forest with this thing it's not true it's the effect it's when you come into the shadow and that's when you hear the sound blow start you know not blow but it's higher today like I said today is just a, a very very beautiful day for me that's all there is to it so if somebody want to say that I was not subjected to MK Ultra severe torture most severe torture then you should think about twice because everything I have stated so far any physician any psychiatrist any psychologist can confirm that this fits like totally description of MK Ultra torture with directed energy weapons how about that um, I was just gonna say that under MK Ultra they would blow me uh, with this directed energy weapons from the cars from the parking lots to the point that I would have pain here in the back and I how I reminded myself of this stuff is because I think what is was maybe three days ago I walked uh, by that factory and the same thing repeated and this repeated every time I went by that factory I had you know the pain and another funny thing is that wherever I went to walk uh, if I did go for a walk uh, to the city or toward the factory I have always seen my neighbor inside of the car just passing me by like how the F this individual every time when I went to the city all of a sudden he passed me with a car so now I get what what really went on so I know it uh, this this people are terrorists this is these are very dangerous people very dangerous people uh, these are basically assassins uh, terrorists uh, but it's important to pronounce uh, a Serbia as a terrorist state and a Russia as well and get Slovenia excluded thrown out of the European Union because this is a Belgrade this is a Moscow and we probably don't want to have a second Kaliningrad inside of the European Union probably that's not a good idea now what you see right there that's uh, a dam right there uh, that's where the Polish team would go that's where they would go now President Duda and his team of people that's where they would go and they would swim Kaczynski also was here that's a library right there there is a library right there uh, you cannot see it actually from here actually maybe maybe that top roof I'm not sure um, that's where Dr. Bornstein would leave his backpack right there then he would go he would get himself here somewhere and would swim all the way down to our house it's about five and a half kilometers uh, that's what they would do that's that house right there that's like a uh, that is a dam right there too 
you're actually maybe even seeing them you cannot see it from here because the water falls over uh, that was the second point for the poles uh, they would go in the water they would swim down there maybe interesting to record maybe to video record is I don't know how much you can see but here is Kosovo is Serbia and again you can read here uh, let's see uh, no, 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 no. where is it basically it's written everywhere Kosovo is Serbia 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 I don't even have to actually Kosovo je Serbia I don't have to look it, it it it's so blatantly obvious what we have going on here in Novo Mesto I don't actually have to go and uh, you know point out this is this is a city with a severe problems and these problems are the problems that broke uh, look at this Kosovo is Serbia look these are the problems that actually destroyed Yugoslavia, you know. And again, look, Kosovo against Serbia. Again, there's some very, very sick Serbian people here. Very sick, like borderline demented people, racist, hateful people. And, you know, uh, the biggest problem, it, this thing is not only for me. This thing, the biggest problem is probably, I would say, for a distant Serbian people, if there are any left here. Uh, and the second biggest problem, even bigger problem, is, let's say, for the little settlement we were in, uh, where you have the Serbs playing with this, as they have gestured, they will play with these directed energy weapons. Can you imagine to, to, to have a home, to have to have a house next to the terrorists like this? You don't even know what this individual is doing. You know what I mean? Behind the walls, you don't know nothing about what's going on. And you have these people dying left and right, have, suffering, uh, you know, all kinds of uh, issues, health issues and so on. This is a lot of shit. They're doing a lot of stuff. They're playing with it. It's a very serious problem. It's a very serious problem. And you can, you can see what's going on. How can I say? It's like in a Britain you have... Uh, a lot of Muslims extremists is what I'm saying I don't have nothing against the Muslims I got no reason to me they didn't do a single bad thing I don't have any problem with the Bosnian people that are here they work hard they're decent people but in Britain you have this extremists let's say uh, and it, they, they cause problems and you don't know what you have door next to you. you you don't know what the person is doing you know when it comes to the issues like this this is gonna be a very very serious problem this is actually a very serious problem because with all these houses here that they are you don't know what's going on next door and so the stuff I'm talking about is really actually this can this is actually a really really a serious issue this is not that's gonna grow into a serious issue this is a very serious very problematic issue it's gonna affect a lot of people look how beautiful it is everywhere here look how gorgeous this place is it's beautiful and so when you think about you grow up in a place like this you're here it's your home it's where you're from and then you have a bunch of these terrorists coming at you with this kind of stuff doing this kind of disgusting things MK Ultra torture and then they play with this kind of weapons look this is not a brainer uh, about what to do here uh, placing people on a forced unemployment uh, subjected to mk ultra torture denying the services in the city anywhere from the bank to the stores and so on uh, and even use this kind of tools to to molest people to uh, place people inside of the mental hospital on the top of that this is not the way to go uh, you know i don't want to say anything but i kind of equal these people with the terrorists I'm gonna put it this way, uh, Borat Pahar was completely obsessed, you know, 
this man is so angry. I mean, one thing I'm going to tell you, I have never seen in my lifetime anybody as angry as Borat Pahar. I have to tell you that on the surface, it's like a smiling individual in a public this and that, but uh, under MK Ultra, uh, if you heard stuff this guy said to me, how he would just want to go and strangle me, and in his pathos, he was in leaving himself in front of other people with other lunatics, how great would it be to do uh, stuff like this to the people with direct energy weapons that you would find a person like me, you would actually follow him all the way to the border with this kind of weapons and play with him and do the stuff to the person like this. So he couldn't wait to go across the border and things like that. Hey, but that's the kind of stuff we are talking about. We're talking about burglarizing people's homes uh, and playing with this kind of toys is basically what we are talking about. Folks, uh, Slovenia should not be inside of the European Union. Slovenia is Kaliningrad number two. I believe that this is a non-European way. Um, when I think about our politicians, Slovenian parliament, uh, when I think about what's going on, uh, I am suggesting my people, my native people, to take the side with the Croatia because Croats are not taking shit. They do it different way. Uh, it doesn't work. What's happening here with us, here in Slovenia, what's happening here in Slovenia, it's not happening in Croatia. They have their way of paying, uh, you know, respect to this type of terrorism. They, they, they have found a way. Well, we are told in Slovenia how we have to, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, play along, uh, basically watch our fellow man, native from Slovenia, how they are torturing him. How this is all normal, be quiet, be silent, and this and that. They don't do that kind of stuff in Croatia, you know? It doesn't happen. Uh, the thing about it is that when I think about how many problems did Slovenia cause to Croatia in respect to the entry to the European Union, what kind of malicious uh, attitude was that between Borut Pahor and I think her name was uh, Yadranka Kosar, I think she was. Uh, and she was kind of pro-Serbian, I think. Not pro-Croatian, but pro-Serbian. Uh, kind of a good friend with the Borod Pahor. They kind of see each other eye to eye, have deliberately effing both countries, in Slovenia and Croatia. This is what uh, someone that is a sabotager, that is creating a sabotage, can do. Because in Croatia, you also have people that sabotage Croatia too. Uh, but the thing about it is that, you know, when it comes to the border with the Piran and so on, with all these border issues, I got to say I totally side with Croatia. Totally side with the Croatia because Slovenia, uh, what we witness the stuff is happening with us Slovenian people, uh, is something that goes against all the interests, not only of Slovenian people, but of European people, of civilization and everything else. What's happening here is a Chetnikoslavia. This is a Serboslavia. This is a Yugoslavia, what we have going on here in Slovenia. Under Kaliningrad number two is what this thing is. And you know, I be damn if I'm gonna stand up for a single centimeter of Kaliningrad of the great Serbia in the country where I was born. It's not gonna happen. Uh, I give flags up to Croatia for their politic, uh, for their pro-European politic, uh, Polish, Ukrainian, Czech, Slovakian-like politic. And I just hope that you sleepheads in Slovenia are actually gonna wake up and, uh, you know, stand up for something. I can't really think of what the hell you would stand up for when you see stuff like this is happening and you are just quiet like a mouse's. Uh, I don't really 
you know, Netanyahu suggested Slovenian people are not even in a, as a nation. They're not even a nation because when he saw these cowards, this shit around here, when he saw these people behaving like a goats, like a shipple, when he saw what they were doing to me here, uh, and everybody just went along. What else the hell are you going to make the conclusion on about the people that are not even a nation? If you're a nation, then you have to defend your borders. You, that means to defend your people. And that's exactly what in this case never ever have happened. That's all I got to say about this video. Uh, I am totally disgraced, disgusted really, about what's happening uh, in Slovenia. When it comes to Croatia and Slovenia, you always were incited against Croatia. You were told a million bad things about Croatia and not a single bad thing about a Serbia. You know, uh, actually what's happening is exactly the opposite. And, uh, you know, maybe it's just time to open eyes and see really what's going on. Slovenia and Croatia should be the best buddies. They should be almost like one country. They should form one union together with one another for the sake of existence. Slovenian and Croatian army should be like a joint armies. But Slovenian army, Slovenian army military is got is is like a saturated with the Serbs. It's like saturated with the Serbs. It's almost like a Serb next to the Serb. Why is that, if you want to tell me, even if we look at it, this issue? Why are things like this if this is Slovenia? Why do you have them in psychiatry? Why do you have them in the military? Why do you have them? Why do you have a position of people like a board of power in a positions like presidential positions and so on? Why do you have this if this is Slovenia? This is independent state. Uh, in Slovenia, we are brainwashed from little like this. Italy, this is a fascist, is no good. Austria, this is a German, is no good. Hungary, Hungary this is a fascist, it's a neo Nazi, is no good. Croatia, Croatia, we are related to Croat. Whom, whom are we more related to the Cro other than Croats in this part of the, we border with them. We are Slavs. Who are we created, uh, related more? Serbs or the Croats? Whom are we related more to? Serbs are not our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Croatians are our neighbors. Uh, Croats, no good. They're very bad people. They're backstabbing people. I'm going to tell you who else is very bad. Okay, who else is very dangerous? We, the natives, we are also dangerous. We, Slovenian people, are very dangerous to Slovenia too. And then, I guess, we all, our neighbors are bad. We are bad in our own country. We are no good. Then who else is left? Who is good, therefore? You get it. How would health services look like if this would be a neo-Nazi Germany, or I should say, if I would be in a neo-Nazi Germany, how would health services look like? Phil Slovenia. Croatia should be very careful. Croatia and Europe, European Union, should be very careful with a terrorist state known as Slovenia. Ljubljana should be thrown out of the European Union. This is a very serious warning for me. Thanks for watching this video documentary, folks. I'm a little bit upset about these issues. Till next time.